note says that you should only expect to get two to three lightning lanes when you use their paid Skip the Line offering, Genie Plus. We think we can do a lot better than that, so we're gonna put that to the test. Today, we're gonna try to get as many lightning lanes as we can in Disney World to skip as many lines as possible. So come along with us and we're gonna show you all the tips and tricks so that you can do it too on your vacation. Let's get going! Yeah. All right, so we are on our way to the first lightning lane of the day. So let's talk about what Genie Plus is. So Genie is an offering that Disney introduced relatively recently that has a few different methods to it. There is the free Genie, which is open to every guest in the My Disney Experience app. It includes things like personalized itineraries and predicted wait times. Then there is Genie Plus, which is the paid replacement of the old Fast Pass system that used to be free. With this system, you pay $15 a day base, but it does go up for different dates. So we've seen it up as high as $29 per person per day on some of the busier days of the year. You pay that fee and then you get access to one lightning lane at a time in the different theme parks. There are over 40 attractions in Disney World that do have these lightning lanes that you can use the service on and you book them through the My Disney Experience app. When you book a lightning lane, you can book a new one either after using the one that you've already booked or after a two hour cool down. So if you've booked one for a little bit later out in the day, you're not gonna be able to use it for several hours. After a two hour cool down, you can book another. The first of your lightning lanes can get booked at 7 a.m. We did do that this morning. Right at 7 a.m., I hopped in the My Disney Experience app and booked us Soren for 9.05. This is a relatively high demand attraction, but it should not be your 7 a.m. priority when you're in Epcot. I recommend prioritizing Test Track, Frozen Ever After, or Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. However, this morning you can see uh, with the screen recording that my app did glitch a little bit. And by the time I was gonna be able to get any of those three top rides, it was gonna be 10. So I went ahead and nabbed Soren around the world. And we're gonna see if I can get one of those other ones after we get off of Soren. Thank you. All right, headed to Soarin'. Soarin' Around the World is a simulator attraction, kind of. You sit in these seats that fly up in front of a large screen, and then you hang glide around the world. Uh, not actually hang gliding. Uh, you don't leave the seat, but it's supposed to be like hang gliding. It is a... It's real. It's real. Right, it's real. Um, this ride is adored by a lot of people. Most people really, really love Soarin', uh, since it's such a relaxing ride, there are scents on the ride that you can smell um, that are typically like, so they're sold as candles in Disney Springs and they smell amazing. Yep, I have one. Um, I really like the trivia in line. And no one ever plays it, so if you're ever in here and you see one person competing on the yellow team, it's probably me. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, let's go soar around the world with our first lightning line of the day. Since we scanned into Soren, we could start looking for a new lightning lane. There are a lot of lightning lanes in this park that were available for like the next, under in the next 30 minutes to an hour. And so I was looking, but I didn't want to get like Living with a Land or like, you know, one of the ones that's easy to get until later. So I was looking for Frozen, Test Tracker, Remy. Remy's the hardest to get lightning lane in this park. And we, because we refreshed, 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 saw one for 9.55, which we can walk to right after this ride. So. When you see a time that's not ideal, don't book a lightning lane just yet. Keep refreshing, keep refreshing, keep refreshing. I only refreshed for, I feel like we've probably been here for 10 minutes. Yeah. And I saw a 9.55 for Remy, which is really soon. So people are canceling them all the time. So keep an eye out. And if you're not gonna use the lightning lane, cancel so you open up the opportunity for someone else. flying. There wasn't a star in heaven that we couldn't reach. It was great. <laughs> um, I'm tired. <laughs> the day has only just begun. <laughs> We've only done one lighting. I gotta say, I don't typically start with Soren because I'm usually like rope dropping. Remy is typically what I start with because it's such a high demand ride, but we were able to pull a Remy so it doesn't even matter. And Soren is the perfect ride to start the day with. It really is. It like wakes you up, but in a relaxing way. 
Um, I'm ready. I'm here. We have coffee. Yep. Wow. All right. On to Remy. Because we got a 955 lightning lane. All right. We've made it to our second lightning lane. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Now, this one is definitely the most difficult lightning lane to pull in this park. Uh, it's already out past 7 p.m. The way that I do my refreshing is I use that little edit selections button to click the one to three rides that I'm looking for. You don't want to do more than that because you don't want to waste your time scrolling when you're doing the refresh tactic. So one to three so that you can just kind of do a little scroll and look and then a refresh all in one swift movement. Um, Remy's, we got that 955, we are here. This is a trackless ride system where you kind of travel along with Remy and Gusto, little ghost Gusto. Is he a ghost? Yeah. I guess he might be like a figment of imagination. He's not alive. The real figment in Epcot. The real figment in Epcot. Right here. Gusto. <laughs> um, so, we uh, this is Journey into Imagination with Gusto. Yep. And <laughs> you go to uh, the Gusto restaurant and then you obviously run into Chef Skinner and Dixon Sue. You are riding in a rat the size of the rat. It's a super cute ride um, and it is relatively new, so it's still pretty popular. Pretty good. Big fish hanging down right next to you. Um, I forgot about the water. Yeah, the mop water. That's the price. That's a rough part. Yes. My favorite thing about that ride is that you can feel the little mice feet scampering in the yeah. ride vehicle. It feels yeah. like the little mice feet are running. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm refreshing, by the way. Yes. I, I want to talk. I our, just need a Our Genie lighting. Plus master is hard at doing work. her thing, hard at work. Um, so, super fun ride. I really enjoy it. It's new. It's fun, it's exciting. However, I would personally not wait more than 30 minutes for that ride. I agree. Um, I don't Maybe think it's... Maybe if you have kids a little longer. Yes. But... But if you're just a group of adults, for sure, not more than 30 minutes. But it's still, it's a cute, it's a fun ride. It's not going to be a must-do for me every time I come to Epcot. But I'm, if I'm with people and they want to ride it, I will hop on with them. But now, we're going to see where we're going to go next. I'm currently looking for another of the, uh... Also, my ears are about to fall off my head. <laughs> I'm looking at your fake ears, not your real ones. <laughs> my, my real ears. <laughs> I'm currently looking for, um, a 11 a.m. or earlier time for Frozen or Test Track mm -hmm. while we walk. But if we don't find one, we're going to get one of the easier to grab lightning lanes once we get over near those rides. But just on the off chance that we grab one. I did see a 1020 right when I opened the app, but it was, uh, it, like, my didn't load in time for me to grab it, so. Uh, that would have been really good for Test Track. All right, no dice on getting a lightning lane for Frozen or Test Track within an hour. I did see an 1120 Frozen, which is an hour from now, but I'm trying to wait less than an hour for all of our lightning lanes today to try to maximize. So we went ahead and grabbed one of the easier to snag lightning lanes. We got Figment, Journey into Imagination with Figment. Uh, we'll go scan into that one and then see if we can't find a uh, test tracker frozen. That's a little closer then. which is an optimal. Mm -hmm. um, let me just give it three more swipes and then we'll do living with the land. Oh, I just ran into a pole. All right, so no luck on Frozen or Test Track, so we did go ahead and grab a lighting lane for living with the land. Um, and this is actually the holiday overlay of living with the land called Glimmering Greenhouses, where there's a different track. Hi, there's a lot of Christmas lights and a new voiceover on the ride. It's very, very cute. 
Uh, they do it every holiday season. Highly recommended if you're here around that time. But we went ahead and scanned into our lightning lane here so we could start looking for another test tracker frozen again. This is our fourth lightning lane of the day and it's not even 11 yet. Okay, we are off living with the land. It was a delight as always. Of course. I love looking at those plants. Oh my gosh, I love it. Living with the land is hands down a must do and it typically has a five minute wait. So even if you don't have Genie Plus. Yep. Still looking for a good frozen or test track. You'll notice in the screen recording, the times are now at 7.30 or like 6.30 PM. So they're really late now. The reason that happens is that 11 AM is two hours after park open. So if anybody booked something at 7 AM that was a cool down ride, like if they booked Remy for 6 PM at 7 AM, then when they get to the park, that's when the two hour cool down starts at, at 9 a.m. So at 11, all of those people could book a new lightning lane, which is why it suddenly shot out way, way, way further. Um, so hopefully an earlier one pops up, but if not, we're kind of kind of mosey over to the seas. The seas with Nemo and friends. Nemo and friends. I said it, and friends. We're and the friends. We are the friends. The seas with Nemo and you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have a lightning lane for this one. This is another one, very easy to snag a lightning lane. 10 minute wait, pretty much a walk on. Pretty so, much. do not recommend a lightning lane, but we're going to For the numbers. Today. For also, the numbers. if you're in Epcot all day and you have Genie Plus, you'll probably get through all the big ones and be able to get lightning lanes for these little ones. It might save you like four minutes, but every four minutes counts when you paid $125 for your park ticket. Exactly. Say that again. I just pulled a 1205 Frozen. Oh my God. And what's wild is that when I tapped on it, it was 12.15 and it actually got earlier. Ooh. So two people must have canceled at like exactly the same time. But 12.05, we get to ride Frozen. <laughs> get to of course at Frozen. However, we do have to say hi to the manatees for Emma. She would never forgive us if we didn't. Hi manatee. Emma says hi. Very good. Good rollover. They always roll over when Emma says hi. We are en route to Frozen. Sure enough, we're doing our fair share of crisscrossing today. That's because we're trying to maximize Genie Plus. You should use Genie Plus without maximizing it. There's a lot of great strategy that you can use where you're not spending the whole day staring at your phone like I have been, you're not crisscrossing the park. You can learn a lot more about that strategy in our best day ever videos where we use Genie Plus sparingly in a way that just helps us have the best day ever without taking over our whole day like it is today. You can also learn more about great Genie Plus strategies and any of our Genie Plus challenges. So check those out on the channel. Brian and I did just do a quick side quest to fill our stomachs. We ate, we went to the Mexico booth for Festival of the Holidays and we slammed, <laughs> I slammed a, a barba, uh, uh, barbacoa, barbacoa oh. tostada, mm -hmm. and she slammed a tamal. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And it was delicious. On top of trash cans. On top of trash cans. We should have shown you. It was honestly a little embarrassing. You know what? We have a social video we can we drop do. in. It was a little embarrassing. Yeah. But um, we don't have time. You will have time to eat. You won't be trying to get as many possible. We're trying to prove a point here today mm -hmm. and take on a challenge. But you should take more time to eat than the four minutes we just slammed yeah. <laughs> Mexican food on a trash can. So we're now headed into Frozen Ever After. This is my second favorite ride in Epcot behind Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It is a Frozen dark ride slash boat ride through not the story of Frozen, but it takes you through sort of an epilogue to Frozen as you get invited up to Elsa's Ice Palace. This one makes me feel like a little kid again, and I always am smiling so, so big in the ride photo. I just absolutely love this ride. Um, the animatronics are beautiful. The animatronics are so beautiful. And there's typically a very long wait for this one. Of course, Frozen is super popular, and it doesn't have the highest capacity since it is a boat ride. Um, so this is one that we definitely recommend Lightning Lane for. I'm super happy we were able to snag um, a good time for it, because I was not sure with the times looking out like they were out at 7 p.m. So maybe this bodes well for test track. We'll have to see. Soaked. Yeah, we did. Uh, like the amount of water that hit me did a ton hit you. Uh, yeah. So much water just like schlocked into me. It was cold too. Very, very Norwegian water. Um, well, I would hope so. It wasn't frozen though. Boo! Oh. That would have been ice. Um, <laughs> or snow. Uh, I'm still trying to get test track. We're going to wander back towards the front of the park and get Spaceship Earth or Mission Space if we can't get test track by then. Um, maybe grab another snack en route to shove into our bodies? I think so. You want a Norwegian pastry? I want a Norwegian pastry. I would pastry. love a Norwegian pastry. It smells so good in here. I, this is the Norwegian bakery, Kringla Bakery O Cafe. I think is how you say it. And um, they have amazing pastries here. Hi, can we do a left side and apple cake? Of course. Thank you. This is real life. Yeah. Quincy is paying. And I'm refreshing her phone. It's strapped to her body. And if you want more behind the scenes with all of your this is absolutely behind the scenes. So this is the apple cake, which I think is pronounced apple cake in Norwegian, but it's apple cake with um, caramel sauce on top. It looks amazing. And this is the lefse, which is a potato pastry with cinnamon sugar and butter inside. Very light, very good, and the perfect snack for us to continue getting lightning lanes. Yes. This apple cake looks amazing, smells amazing, and it's covered in caramel. Mm. I just held it like a flute. I went. <laughs> it also tastes amazing. It's super moist. There's huge chunks of cooked apple in there. I'm tasting cinnamon on the apple, caramel sauce and powdered sugar. Just killer. Mm. This is really, really good. When I was younger, well, even now, sometimes, if I just want a small little snack at home, I'll do the same thing but with a flour tortilla and just put, you put melted butter on it, cinnamon sugar, pop it in the microwave. This is kind of what that is. It's a really on brand thing for you to eat. So I think they just opened a bunch of lightning lanes for test track because I'm suddenly seeing them. They were all out at like 7, 8 p.m. I'm suddenly seeing them waver around 1.10, 2 p.m., which is like right now-ish. So I canceled the one we got, which I grabbed a 1.30 because I'm seeing 1.10, I'm seeing it pop up occasionally. I would love 1.10. That would be really nice. So because we're trying to park up. We're trying to park up. I would love test track. It feels like playing slots. I always feel like I'm gambling when I do lightning lanes. Honestly. Yeah. And it feels like you win when you win. Yes. I mean, you're not winning anything. This but when like, you get a good lightning lane, it feels like you win. You sit there and you scroll, which is like pulling the, the lever, and you're like, come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me something good. That's me right now. Yeah. All right, well, let's walk, and maybe, maybe it'll come up. And if not, we'll go to Spaceship Earth. So Test Track was doing weird stuff. It was showing me like 110s, 110s, but it wouldn't let me grab any of them. 
Then it was like showing me like a lot of twos and threes and then shot all the way back to 7 p.m. And I was like, whatever, I'll keep, you know, we're close to it, I'll keep refreshing. Got a 105. Oh my gosh. You know what time it is? What? One. Oh my gosh. And we are at test track. At test track. You know, I'm a little sad. What? This is no longer the fry basket. I know. I mean, really, I'm glad because Fry Basket was just not a good name. No, that's a terrible name. If it would have been Fry Bucket, then maybe a good name. Yeah, I think so. Now we're walking up to Test Track. If you've never ridden this attraction before, you are able to build your own sim car. And then once you get to the actual attraction, you are test driving your vehicle to see how well it does in different categories like power, efficiency, Super loud, but super fun. More fun for kids because, you know, kids can't drive and this, you know, kind of feels like you're just driving on the highway, but it's super fun and super cool. And we, we have a lightning lane for it. This ride does have a single rider entrance, so if you're willing to break up your party, that could give you a quicker wait time. However, you will be split up. If you are in the single rider line, your party will be split up. So just be prepared for that. It is 127, so we're gonna go ahead and park hop. We can get into Magic Kingdom starting at 2 p.m. and uh, it takes about 30 minutes. We gotta drive over to the TTCN park. If you're going via monorail, we recommend taking 30 minutes to do that as well as you have to monorail to the TTC and then over to Magic Kingdom. So uh, we're gonna head that way, but our final count for Epcot was what? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Seven. Seven lightning lanes before 2 p.m. It's pretty good. And we have, this is, we're not even halfway through the day because we're park hopping at two. Magic Kingdom doesn't close till 11. So we got a ton of time to try to grab some lightning lanes in Magic Kingdom. Um, I will note that we got every single lightning lane in Epcot except for three. We did not get Spaceship Earth, Mission Space, or Turtle Talk with Crush. But as you can probably tell, we were going for some of those like really snazzy ones. And we got all three of the most popular lightning lanes in Epcot this morning. So I feel pretty good about our, about our number so far. Seven feels good. So let's keep it up. Um, and clearly we would be able to get every lightning lane in Epcot in one day. You can kind of extrapolate that if we had until close tonight, there is no world that we would not be able to get Mission Space, Spaceship Earth, and Turtle Talk with Crush. Yeah. Low demand ones. So on route to Magic Kingdom, we'll see what kind of damage we can do there. By damage, I mean mindscaping. Not actual damage. Not actual damage. No. All right, so we made it to Magic Kingdom. And... Uh, the castle show is happening, which we do actually have about five, well, maybe not. We kind of got to walk a long way. It's okay. Fry Bucket's enjoying it on the go. She loves the castle show. This is the best scene. First up at Magic Kingdom, we've got Big Thunder Mountain Railroad Lightning Lane. Yeehaw! Oh. There you go. The standby wait right now is 75 minutes, so this lightning lane is gonna be very helpful. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is a small roller coaster themed to mining diamonds in the coal mine. Uh, it's a lot of fun. This one is a very popular attraction. It's one of the three mountains here in Magic Kingdom, so 
would recommend a lightning lane for this one. So we're gonna see how quickly we can get through this 75 minute line with our lightning lane. Next relevant genie tip. It is hard to get Fry Bucket and I in the same Yeah. Like if I'm, if this is centered on me, that's Fry Bucket. And if it's centered on Fry Bucket, I look like um, Wizard Kelly from the Proud family. Um, and now we're his, walking. Yeah, now we're walking to get harder. <laughs> Um, when you are when you're getting in line for lightning lane, some rides have one scan, some rides have two. If there is only one scan, then you can go ahead and book your next lightning lane after that one scan. If there are two scans, you have to scan through both to be able to book your next lightning lane. Easy way to check this if you're waiting on whether or not you have a second scan in line, go ahead and check in the app if it says when you can book is now or still later. And then after that second scan, you'll be able to book again. And right after our second scan here at Big Thunder Mountain, I was able to get Pirates of the Caribbean for five minutes from now, despite the fact that it was like two hours out. like that it's time for our next lighting lane over in Adventureland at Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean is an incredibly popular and incredibly classic Disney attraction. Um, it is a pirate themed ride where you kind of cruise through pirate pillaging and plundering and pirate ships and Captain Jack Sparrow's there and Barbosa is there. Now the movie was actually based on the ride so originally it didn't have all those characters. They were added in after the movie's success and they're welcome additions by most Disney fans. Typically it has like a 35 plus minute wait. This is kind of the lowest I would see it in the middle of the day. But we were able to grab a lightning lane despite the fact that it's a little bit higher demand than some other attractions. So we get to skip the line. Sticking it in Adventureland, I was able to grab a Magic Carpets for 3.30. Magic Kingdom is pretty busy this afternoon. It really is. And I found it pretty difficult to find a lightning lane that is around this time, which means our challenge might get a little challenger year. Yeah, because that's a word. Yeah, today as the day goes on. But I was able to pull a 3.30 for Magic Carpets of Aladdin, which was showing like 3.50 past 4, and I wasn't going to wait that long for Magic Carpets. No. We're trying to go for density today. Density. Volume, density. Density. Um, so I was able to get that magic carpets of Aladdin and that's the direction we're headed now. This is a Dumbo style attraction. Uh, basically it takes you up, takes you around, you control the height of your vehicle. Uh, lightning lane looks a, looks a little backed up so hopefully we can get it on it without too much of a wait but at least we'll scan in and get our next lightning lane booked. I might be jinxing this right now. Uh -oh. But the sun's behind clouds, yeah. which means this ride is a lot more enjoyable. You will bake if the sun is out when you're on this ride. You really will. Those little cars are made of like, what, what material is that? I don't know. It's like a material that's only at Disney World. All of Mickey's Toontown Fair was made out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, um, it's not, is it plastic? It's like really aggressive hard plastic. Yes, but it's like a little, like a little bit harder. Yeah, and it heats up in the sun like nobody's business. Yeah. I can show you the world. Shiny, shimmering, splinted. I'll be fried bucket. Now will be fast, let your heart decide. All right, our next lightning lane is Space Mountain. So, Space Mountain is a roller coaster. It is in the dark. It's not very fast, it goes 35 miles per hour, but it feels a lot faster because it's in the pitch black and you are going to and then hurtling through space. Very popular attraction. Uh, definitely not a starter coaster for kiddos. I know a lot of kiddos have gotten really scared on this one. Thank you. But, uh, just scanned in, so now we can start looking for our next lightning lane. And I'm currently looking for a more exciting lightning lane, uh, but we are walking towards Tomorrowland Speedway. 
which has had lightning lanes available pretty much within the next window all since we got here to Magic Kingdom. So that's probably what we'll end up doing unless I magically pull a 405 Haunted Mansion or something. Okay, the rain is kind of picking up. <laughs> a little. I'm trying to manifest Haunted Mansion right now. Give me in the next three pulls. Give me a good Haunted Mansion. Come on, on. Madden Leota. Madam Leota, here. Hear my call. Help us out. Oh my gosh. Not Haunted Mansion, but a 410 Splash. Oh, I was trying to say Madam Leota. <laughs> no, it was it was Ra or Rabbit that heard all of our call. He did. He, he answered the call. Um, it's definitely dropped in temperature a little bit, so Splash Mountain has gotten a little less crowded since we've been here. But the lightning lanes are still out into the evening, and we were able to grab one for right now, which is thrilling and exciting news. Splash Mountain is a dark ride slash log flume where you travel through the story of Briar Rabbit uh, as he gets chased by Briar Bear and Briar Fox. It is based on a Disney movie, Song of the South, which is pretty heavily controversial. So the ride is getting a retheme. Uh, it's set to be rethemed to Tiana's Bayou Adventure in 2024. Much of the same ride system, except based on Disney's Princess and the Frog. I'm very excited about this. Splash Mountain is my favorite ride because I love the music and I love the ride system. And I think the music of Princess and the Frog is amazing. And they're not changing the ride system, so I'm a happy camper. Um, it is a big log flume, 50-foot plunge. And uh, you typically do get wet, especially if you're in the front seat. So here's open. We are not in the front seat. Oh no! Uh, both of us are really hungry and also I want Coke so bad, but I keep pulling good lightning lane times. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. So we keep, I just got a 4.30 Winnie the Pooh. It is 4.30, so we're headed to the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which is one of those moderate ones. This one's a couple hours out from now on average, and I was able to get one right now. So, gotta go. Gotta go. And then maybe we'll get one that's like, like 10 minutes away. And then Maybe. we could that would be nice. <laughs> and then we could get a Coke. <laughs> but no. Alright, up next we've got the mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is a classic dark Disney ride. All about Winnie the Pooh and his friends and adventures that he goes on. The standby wait time right now is 45 minutes, so this lightning lane is gonna help us a little bit. Now, if you watched our best day ever Magic Kingdom video, Winnie the Pooh was the tricky one that we almost didn't get the at the end of the one. night. I just got a small world for 510. Nice. Do we have time for a Coke? We'll see after we get off the ride. It's 445, oh, so no. probably not. Oh no. But do I need caffeine? We caffeine. are too good at GD Plus. It's a challenge, right, Bucket? I know, I know, and this was my idea, I know. It was your idea. <laughs> I also need caffeine. <laughs> Next, we headed straight to It's a Small World, the classic, super uber classic Disney boat ride. All about different countries and celebrating our differences, but also coming together as one. All right, we are now on route to Ride Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. We did just make a TikTok about an Owen Wilson and about a small world doll that looks like Owen Wilson. Wow. Yeah. If you don't follow us on TikTok, it gets pretty chaotic over there. You're I would, out. yeah. <laughs> but I did go ahead and get us a 5.30 for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, or 5.20, I don't even know at this point, but that's where we're headed. And we're gonna go hop on that and then hopefully pull it out their lightning lane, but maybe one that's far enough out for Fry Bucket and I to eat, to drink a Coke. Please. <laughs> 
Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin is a shooter style attraction where you shoot your little blaster at the aliens and Zerg um, and try to save the galaxy. I'm not great at it. How are you at it? I'm pretty good, but I've never gotten Galactic Hero. I've gotten Galactic Hero, but the ride did stop next to a very high value target. That was kind of cheating. It is definitely cheating. So the lightning lane for this one does get a little backed up, so I'll just caution you with that. Usually I wait about 10-15 minutes in the lightning lane for this, but compared to an hour, pretty good. How was your Star Command journey? It's pretty good. Um, we did stop for a little bit in the room. With, with the, the tunnel, tunnel and the project. It was not a great place to stop on the ride. Um, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that um, while we were waiting in line for Buzz Lightyear, I did pull a Peter Pan's flight. The bad news it is for right now. So no coke for us. Um, that's actually really wild. Peter Pan's flight has been showing up as unavailable for the last two-ish hours. Um, it's one of the most popular rides in Magic Kingdom, one of the most high-demand lightning lanes. In fact, if you're not going to use your 7 a.m. for Jungle Cruise, we recommend you use that 7 a.m. first booking for Peter Pan's flight. Uh, I did grab it, so I got very, very lucky there, and that's going to add to our list. Uh, I was telling Five Bucket, I'm enjoying that we're able to do this challenge, including some of the most popular rides, some of the hardest to get rides, and not just going with all the easier to get rides to try to get our numbers up. We're both getting our numbers up and getting good lightning lanes. Yeah, we are. We literally talked earlier and said, Peter Pan, might not get it. Yeah, I literally said, I was like, my holy grail today is Peter Pan or Jingle Cruise, and we just got Peter Pan. Yeah. Could we get Jingle Cruise? Doubtful. We are coming up on Peter Pan's flight. Peter Pan's flight is another of those classic Fantasyland dark rides. Tells the story of Peter Pan. This one is a little unique because instead of like sitting on the ground in your ride vehicle, you are flying in a flying pirate ship. It's beloved by many. You get to see tiny London. Um, and it's also very low capacity and incredibly popular. It is common to see this ride with weights above 90 minutes. And it's also common for that lightning lane to book up completely. So uh, we're very lucky here with this one that we just snacked. Snacked? Snagged. We're not snacking. I just said we snacked on the lightning lane. I'm hungry. Jingle Cruise or Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid because those are the most high demand ones that we haven't done. Um, but we are walking to Mad Tea Party because we can immediately pull Mad Tea Party. So, unfortunately, still just time for us to eat the Coke. We might have to force it here in a minute. Every challenge requires fuel. Honestly, we still got, I mean, it's only, what, what time is it? Like uh, 6.23. So a long way to go before park closes. Yep. What's up, Mad Tea Party? This is that classic spinner style attraction themed to Alice in Wonderland. Some people like to go fast on the teacups, some people don't like to go fast at all. Do you like to go fast? No. Oh. Do you? Yeah. You can go fast. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Careful there, buckaroo. Why are they all like this? Emma, it's more fun this way. That. And then you go like this. Ready? What do you think? I booked us Barn Stormer for six fifty-five. Let's go eat. Oh my god! I've never seen a more beautiful sight. They come bearing our sustenance in my life. Fry bucket got four chicken tenders, a classic Disney World chicken tenders. Uh huh. And I got their hot chicken sandwich. Ooh. Which I'm gonna pour ranch all over. Oh. And we both got Coke. Cheers. The sandwich is surprisingly tasty. It's definitely not hot, and it doesn't really remind me of hot chicken, like Nashville hot chicken. Um, however, it's it's like a good chicken sandwich. It has a slaw on it. It's a little more interesting with the sauce. I had a hot chicken sandwich here like over a year ago when we ate everything in Tomorrowland, and it was a lot better than this. So I was hoping this was going to be a return to that. It's not, but it's still good. I would still get it again. How are your chicken tenders? 
Amazing. Classic Disney chicken tenders. Classic Disney chicken tender. Tastes even better now, today, in this moment. Because I needed this. But perfect for picky eaters. Perfect for people who just want simple theme park food. They're nice and warm. They were just made. It's really good. I get barbecue sauce and the honey mustard. Not together. Separately. Separately. But those are my two sauces. All right, we successfully shoveled food and Coca-Cola into our bodies. Like, this is like down here. No, yeah, mine's gone. For like five minutes. I need to burp. <laughs> well, I was burping at the table. <laughs> um, and now we are headed to Bar and Stormer. We have a 6.55 p.m. lightning lane for Bar and Stormer. Got to scan into that one and then try to get another. Woo! Have you caught on to how this works yet? Bar and Stormer is in Storybook Circus at the back of Fantasyland. It's a kid's coaster. Uh, you cruise along. It's the great Goofini. You're in an airplane. Uh, it's always been called the Barnstormer, but it did get a slight retheme when this area changed from being Mickey's Toontown Fair. But it has always been a very short airplane-based kids coaster. I absolutely love this ride. It's definitely not for my age group. It's for much younger. It's a great introductory coaster. But uh, it was one of the first roller coasters that I rode. And um, my brother and I, as soon as we were old enough to ride it without our parents, rode it over and over and over and over and over again. Because it's such a blast. Short, it's sweet. The seats are a little too small. They're fry bucket sized. <gasps> I saw it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hopefully we're close. But we don't know yet. Barnstormer, Quincy pulled a lightning lane for Dumbo for right now. So we're gonna walk right next door and hop on Dumbo. Dumbo is another classic Disney attraction. It's one of those like Magic Carpets with Aladdin. It picks you up, it spins you around, and that's it. But it's super fun. It's again classic Disney attraction. I think it's a must do just because it's Magic Kingdom. However, in normal circumstances, if you have little kids, and you're here at Magic Kingdom, there's actually a playground inside where they can run around, run off some steam while you wait in the standby line. And I feel like that's a good idea. I'm obviously not a parent yet, but I feel like that's a good idea to let your kids run off some steam while you sit in the AC. Probably a good idea. I think it's a good idea. Sometimes I let Fry Bucket run off some steam in there. Listen, she can't go on the playground, but she can sort of walk around. Yeah, run around, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going as fast as I can. Hiya. Is this high enough for you? This is high enough for me. Okay, good, because that's as high as it goes. You know they say Dumbo he performed in New York? <laughs> yeah, the original. <laughs> Where's Timothy Q. Uh, he's on his lunch break. Uh, he's always on a break. He's eating, eating pastrami <laughs> and rye. <laughs> one thing you know about New York. That's it. I've never, and rye. I've never been. That's all I know. I will tell you, I've literally listened to Breedlove, a vegan, talk about pastrami and rye. I, same. So, so, there must be something. Nobody's laughing at our, <laughs> at our it's a small world TikTok. <laughs> Every, we made an Owen Wilson joke. It's so funny. We've, we've been laughing at it for like two hours and no one on TikTok. It has like 30 views on TikTok. Please go watch it. This will be weeks later. Just scroll back until you see the It's a Small World one that says, wow. We made our way to Eric and Ariel's castle. It's very blurry, but we made it here. <laughs> it's not blurry in real life, just on the camera. Um, this is the Little Mermaid dark ride. It's a relatively new dark ride. It is not my favorite. I think the animatronics are a little weird, uh, but of course I love the story of the Little Mermaid. I love hearing the music. You love it. I love it. And I will say I really appreciate this ride because it was a dark ride that they added, a classic dark ride in 2011, which to me means that they still care about making those. So I really like that. Um, and we have a lighting lane for it that's starting right about now.
Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. This attraction is a show and it's really funny. The monsters are putting on a comedy show and you as the audience are trying to laugh hard enough to fill up the screen canister and it's super fun. The jokes are happening in real time. It's really impressive on Disney's part and it's always really funny. I laugh every time. You also can text in jokes while you're waiting for the show to start. They have it up on the wall. You can text a joke and your joke might get featured in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. What is your name? It's Quincy. Correct. <laughs> so we accidentally went on Monsters and Glass Floor during fireworks. Which I think means trying to protest. There were about 35 people in the room. And I was so nervous. And we both ended up on screen. So if you have ever dreamed of being on screen at Monsters and Glass Floor, go during fireworks. Yeah. Because the chances are high. Now, if you are riding rides during the fireworks, uh, I recommend trying to make them outdoor rides. It's a great time to ride rides because the wait times do drop really, really low while everybody's watching the fireworks. But uh, you can see there's a pretty great view from here in Tomorrowland. Oh, wow. Wow, that was really crazy good. We are heading into Tomorrowland Speedway. This is a uh, little car driving racing attraction. probably here. Um, however, I do think it's fun um, when you do it at night and with a friend. Ready, here we go! Off to the races. Oh yeah, baby. Speedy. I am speedy. <laughs> Private Rebecca just told me that she's a good driver, so actually so far you're much... Oh, I take it back. I was going to say... You made me nervous. <laughs> I was going to say so far you're much better than Emma. <laughs> That was pretty good driving. Thank you. So there are only three lightning lanes left in this park that we can get. Uh, one is not optional to us that we didn't do today, which was the Festival Fantasy Parade, because we were doing other lightning lanes at the time. Obviously, there are no more parades. The characters also don't typically have lightning lanes open this, e this late in the evening, as they're trying to get the lines to move through. So no characters either. So the only three remaining lightning lanes for typical attractions are Haunted Mansion, Jingle Cruise, and Mickey's Skull Her Magic. Right now, the earliest is Mickey's Full Heart Magic at 9.25, which is in over 30 minutes. Um, and we're seeing Haunted Mansion around 10, sometimes 9.50, sometimes 9.45, but we think we can maybe do better. Interestingly, I haven't seen any Jingle Cruise lanes pop up all day since we've been here. Once they went out, they stayed out. Um, but now I'm seeing a pop up around 10.25. The thing is, if we take that Jingle Cruise, even though it's a really rare one and hard to get, we might not be able to get Haunted Mansion or Fill Our Magic because if those run out while we're waiting for Jingle Cruise. So really I'm in a gamble right now trying to get something a little earlier. Um, but we might end up, if we if it takes too long, going for this 925 Mickey's Fill Our Magic. But the, the challenge is going well. We've got a 915 Haunted Mansion. The, the stress of that was the choices because stuff kept popping up but it wasn't ideal. Uh, like Jingle Cruise popped up at 945 at one point, which is an hour from now. And we could maybe get Haunted and Fill Our done after it, but it's iffy. Haunted Mansion finally gave us a 915, which is just 30 minutes away. We can go maybe get a treat. I think so. And then go ride Haunted Mansion. All right, our treats have been selected. So we have uh, mine, the pineapple upside down cake, which is a pineapple upside down cake, yes, really, topped with pineapple Dole Whip. I absolutely love this treat. I think it's sort of out of left field for them to have at Aloha Isle. It's sort of out of left field. I absolutely love it um, because I love like cake topped with ice cream, berries topped with ice cream, pie topped with ice cream, really anything topped with ice cream. So it's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. What did you get? I got the recently new PM on a B. Oh. The PM on that meat. PM on that <laughs> It's actually vanilla soft serve with a blueberry and it's got pineapple juice. And a little flower. Feather. It's not a flower. It's not a flower. I was thinking about the Tiki Room song it was playing in my head. <laughs> Thoughts on our treats? My pineapple upside down cake was delicious as always. The pineapple dough whip soaks into the cake. Everything's pineapple Everything's amazing. Mine was really good. I actually really liked the blueberry flavor. I think I like it better than the coconut. Unhinged. 
a little, but I didn't love the pineapple juice that was also in the float. Like I much rather would just have the blueberry and the vanilla and swirl together. That would be very good. I tried the blueberry and to me it tasted like mint. I so, my favorite ice cream flavor is mint chocolate chip, so that's probably it, why I it like really it. It really did taste a little like mint. So, if, and I'm also a mint chocolate chip girl, and I liked it. So that's why we're friends. That is why we're it's the only reason. Yeah, that's it. All right, so we're headed to Haunted Mansion. And once we scan in there, we are going to be able to try for Mickey's Philhar Magic or Jingle Cruise. Jingle Cruise, of course, going to be harder than Philhar Magic. We'll see what we can do. Um, but if we can get both of those, I think that final number is going to be pretty impressive. I think so. Too. Even if we can only get one of them, yeah. I think our final number is going to be pretty impressive. I have never lightning leaned for Fill Her Magic. There's a separate There's entrance. Time. A red carpet entrance. Oh, oh. 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 VIP. Headed into Mickey's Fill Her Magic, this is a 3D show with some 4D effects like gusts of wind and spurts of water and stuff like that. It is 10 minutes long. Absolutely adorable. I actually do consider this a must do. It is an air conditioned show. It's relatively quick. You don't typically have to wait for it. In the middle of your Magic Kingdom day when you're at your hottest, um, come on in here, get a break from the crowds, get a break from the lines, uh, and check out this very, very adorable show. Um, my favorite place to sit is the front row. All right, unfortunately, no Jingle Cruise for no us. No Jingle Cruise. The lightning lanes have ended for the day, yeah. but fear not, because we did a pretty crazy number of, of lightning lanes let today. Me, let me pull up the list. Yeah, pull up, the, pull up that final tally for us. Mm. How many lightning lanes can you get in one day? Well, Disney says, Expect two to three. And we did um, 24. 24. Not two to three, not 23. 24, 24 lightning lanes in one day on a relatively busy day. Yeah. This afternoon, Peter Pan's flight was up to a hundred minute wait. Mm -hmm. And get this, outside of Jingle Cruise, we did every single attraction based lightning lane in Magic Kingdom after park hop. Yeah. So we park hopped into the park. We got in here at 2.15. Mm -hmm. We did every single attraction based lightning lane. So basically, if you watch All Ears, you can do whatever you want with Jeannie. Exactly. You can soar, you can, can fly. fly. There's not a star in heaven that you can't reach. That's a call back to the first ride we did this morning. <laughs> that felt like days ago. I think that was three days ago. I think it was. If you want even more tips about Genie, about Disney parks, anything in order to have your best day ever, be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> and now go watch our best day ever in Magic Kingdom. We'll see you there. Bye. Well, let's go home. Please. <laughs> Very happy surprise on the way out. I've never seen him out this late, but the park is closing in four minutes and Mickey Mouse is waving goodbye to everyone on the train station. Cute.